To add the example logo to your site, you need to scroll down to the Logo Maker app, select the image, and then you're going to select Manage Logo. This is your My Logos page where you can now download your file for the logo saved. This immediately downloads a PNG file for your use to upload to your site. You can then go to the right here and go back to your Weebly Builder. To edit the created logo, you can simply select the logo in the builder and you will then see the option to adjust the size here. Moving this will make the logo larger or smaller. If you would like to choose between the align options offered, you can simply choose left, middle, or right to justify the overall logo. You can use your mouse to select the logo and move it left or right and also use this little square box to make this logo larger or smaller. If you have multiple logos saved, you may scroll through each of them by using the left or right arrow, or you can also scroll to the left-hand side and add the Logo Maker app again to save multiple logos for comparison on your website. To get the logo at the top of your site, you may do so by using the Logo PNG file provided when we downloaded the files. This may vary on location at the top of your builder depending on the theme chosen. However, in this case, I will do so in the upper left hand corner by highlighting over the website name and selecting logo. You can immediately choose to upload a photo from your computer and select the PNG provided for upload. You will then see your logo appear at the top of your website. If you wish to purchase, create a new or make further changes to the logo for your site, you will select the logo image again. From the light box, you will choose Manage. Here you see your saved logos in which you can edit or purchase. To create and choose a new logo, simply select Create a new logo. After you have created and saved a new logo, you can download the new file and then choose Done. This concludes the tutorial on using